Hi guys, Harry here. Welcome to Scrap Science. If you've been watching the channel for a while, you'll know uh, that I've had a project running for the last year and a half. Uh, the enrichment and purification of heavy water. And we started with 20 litres of water, roundabout, and over the last 18 months, we've been electrolyzing that down all the way till we've got whatever's left here, which is about a bit less than half a milliliter of water. And theoretically, this should be uh, relatively pure heavy water, or water that contains deuterium instead of hydrogen. In the last episode of this series, uh, we actually uh, managed to obtain this water and then we tried purifying it by distillation and did some tests with it and found out that our distillation uh, didn't actually work all that well to remove the sodium carbonate electrolyte that was in the water previously. So what we're going to do today is redistill this water with a bit of a better setup. Uh, hopefully that'll make it pure enough to do some tests on and then uh, we'll actually check if we do have heavy water. So first things first, what we need to do is pipette our heavy water into our test tube where we'll be doing the uh, boiling. So that's all set up and ready to go. We've got our collection flask in some nice cold water here. We've got our condensing tube and we have all of the heavy water we've collected uh, in the bottom of this chest tube here. Uh, you can see I've got some grains of sand in there to act as boiling chips. I'll just go ahead and grab the heat gun and we'll heat that up. We'll get it to boil and then we should get some uh, heavy water condensing through that tube. Easy enough. And that's that. Hopefully I got all of it. So we'll extract that from this vial, uh, put it in a smaller vial, and we will do some tests with it to see if it's pure enough and see if it is actually heavy water. Definitely hope I don't have to distill that again. Let's see if it is basic at all. And very good, checking the pH shows us that we have a pH of about seven, which is excellent. We have pure water, which might be heavy. The first test to determine whether or not we have heavy water uh, is based on melting point. You see, because heavy water, the melting point is slightly above that of normal water, something like four degrees Celsius, I think. Anyway, we can check this. Uh, I don't know if you've seen the experiment where like you, you get a test tube of benzene and put it in some ice cold water, which should be at zero degrees. Benzene has a melting point of, I think, five degrees. so. When you stick it in zero degree water, it freezes solid. And what we should see uh, with our heavy water is, if it is heavy water, when we stick this in zero degree water, because we've got some ice in the water there, uh, what we should see is it will solidify, hopefully. So I'll go ahead and just stick that in there and wait a little bit and see if we can get the water to freeze. Obviously, normal water shouldn't do this because, well, if you've got ice that's melting, it shouldn't be able to freeze uh, some liquid water into a solid. So this is a pretty good determination uh, of whether or not we do actually have uh, any kind of high concentration of deuterium in water. All right, after multiple attempts at trying to freeze this water at zero degrees, I haven't been able to do it. Whether I freeze it first and try to keep it as a solid, or if I just like stick it in the ice cold water like that, it has not solidified properly. So we don't actually have a high enough concentration of deuterium in this water to actually measure, I'm afraid. I mean, I guess there could be like a tiny little bit of electrolyte in there that's preventing it from freezing, but I really, I just think that we don't actually have highly concentrated heavy water at all. So that's quite disappointing. Uh, we didn't really get anything meaningful out of this 
heavy water concentration which took us a year and a half but I am however still confident that we have enriched the deuterium content of this water to quite a significant degree it's just not measurable maybe it's only like 10 percent or something like that if i ever have access to a mass spectrometer i will be sure to actually uh, have a go at measuring how much deuterium is in the sample anyway disappointing as this is uh, i will get the water out of there put it in an even smaller container uh, so i'll seal that up and then make it a little bit more visible uh, I've also ordered some real heavy water in the mail, so that should come in, I don't know, less than a week or so, and I'll be able to actually show you some real heavy water, show you how it does actually freeze at zero degrees, and show you how an ice cube of it will sink in regular water. So let's cut forward to when I've received my real heavy water in the mail. It has now been two weeks, and the real heavy water that I ordered has come in the mail. It's two and a half milliliters of, uh, I'm pretty sure it's pretty pure uh, heavy water. So all the experiments that we were gonna do uh, with the heavy water that we made, well, the water that we made, uh, you can see I put it in a smaller container inside uh, that vial. We can now do all of those experiments with some real heavy water just to show you what that looks like. First of these experiments is making the water freeze at zero degrees like we were trying to do before. So let's just repeat that but with the real heavy water. Stick that in some ice water and see if it freezes over the next 15 minutes or so. And after a while, quite a long time of waiting, we pull out the sample of heavy water and we can see that it is frozen solid. If the camera would bloody focus. There we are. So this conclusively proves that what's in this vial is actual heavy water. Uh, the eBay seller hasn't ripped me off, so that's good. Uh, a couple of things I noticed when trying this experiment is actually it's really quite difficult to get the water to freeze at zero degrees. Uh, I think this is just because you know, zero degrees kind of makes sense. It's only a couple of degrees above the actual freezing point of the heavy water. so. I guess it would be kind of tricky, but it did take a very long time to actually get this to freeze. From my other attempts at this experiment, which I did I don't know, over the last few days, I found that it's really quite difficult to get the water to freeze like from a liquid state if you just put it in there. Uh, really what you've got to do is like partially freeze it first and then stick it in and then it will fully freeze. I don't know, it's just a little bit tricky to get it actually freezing from a liquid state. Now that might mean that uh, the experiments we did on our homemade stuff are uh, a bit inconclusive just due to the difficulty of actually solidifying the water, but really I wouldn't, wouldn't count on it. This isn't real heavy water, we're just gonna, it's not concentrated enough to be measurably different. The next thing we're gonna do is the experiment everyone loves. Uh, we'll take a little bit of this heavy water, freeze it into an ice cube, and then drop it in some normal water and see it sink to the bottom instead of float like regular water. So to do that, uh, I'll open up this vial, pour a little bit into this bottle cap, stick that in the freezer, and then the ice that we'll make, we'll take out and just stick it in that water that we have from before and see the ice cube sink. So I'll go ahead and do that now. In a slightly more controlled setting, here we have the ice cube of heavy water. We've got our water here and just position camera in the right spot and wipe off any condensation here and we should see if I can pick up the ice cube with the tweezers with the ice cube floats in the water that's a bit weird hmm doesn't seem to want to stay down Get that back out of there, I can grab it. So that is really weird. Uh, our first experiment showed that the melting point of this heavy water uh, is slightly above that of normal water. So that does prove that there's some content of deuterium in the water. But this experiment 
should have showed that the ice cube of the heavy water sinks in normal water. I'm sure you've seen it before. It's pretty cool. Uh, but this stuff uh, didn't sink. It just kind of floated. So really the only thing uh, that I can think of is maybe this heavy water isn't pure enough to sink in normal water because you need at least, I think it's 83% uh, deuterium content in order for the water to like just sink in uh, light water. So I reckon that maybe maybe this water's like 50% heavy water and it's just not concentrated enough for it to sink in the normal water. I don't really know. Either way, uh, I'm a little bit sick of heavy water now. Uh, even this hasn't worked, the stuff I bought online. Ah, actually, I guess I could, maybe I should taste this. Yeah. So yeah, uh, just to finish off, I'll give this a taste, see if it tastes any different to normal water. I don't expect it to, seeing as we've just proved that it's got pretty high concentration of normal water, uh, if it's not just normal water in general. So, I don't know. Yeah, no, just tastes like normal water. I don't know. Anyway, there we go. That is it for the heavy water series. Probably the biggest thing we've done on this channel. Hope you've enjoyed it over the last year, even though in the end we didn't get anything meaningful out of it. I mean, maybe there was something wrong with my tests. Maybe this is actual heavy water and maybe this is an actual high concentration of deuterium, but it's really impossible to tell. Uh, I don't have access to a mass spectrometer, as I've said before, so we really don't know if uh, either of these samples, the one that we made ourselves or the one we bought online, actually has any deuterium content. It's pretty inconclusive, really. But overall, it is pretty safe to say that our extraction of heavy water from normal water using electrolysis uh, didn't work, and I'll go into uh, the different reasons why I think that's the case in the description below so give that a read if you care but anyway that that's it I don't have to worry about heavy water anymore I'm free see you guys later